David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, reviewing our statics exam number four, C2301. One page was to use integration method to calculate the moments of inertia, etc., about of a curved shape bounded on the bottom by the x-axis, on the right by x equals one. And the curve, the formula for this curve, is y is equal to 3x to the 5 thirds power. Okay, we calculated the area and the x bar and y bar centroids of this area for you so that you could focus on moments of inertia and, and things. So, as usual, when we have a axis bounding one side, we take a a strip perpendicular to it, in this case a, a vertical strip of dimensions dx width by y high, that's dA, is that little area, that strip that we're going to integrate, except on the first one, which is moment of inertia ix about the x-axis, this x-axis here. For here we're going to use the principle of the moment of inertia of a rectangle about its base, an axis at its base, is bh cubed over 3. So, in this case, b is, the base is dx, and the height is y, and we've got the one-third factor, so we're going to integrate one-third y cubed dx. We substitute in this formula for y, cube it, and it looks like this when we do the math, one-third, bring that outside the integral, 27x to the 15 thirds, which is 5x to the fifth power, dx. Evaluate that, we get 27 over 3, one-sixth x to the sixth. So we evaluate that at x equals 1, at 0 it's equal to 0, at x equals 1 it's 1.50 inches to the fourth. Okay, now we're going to, we're asked for the moment of inertia about the y-axis, the vertical axis. And we're going to use the, our good old friend, the parallel axis theorem, which we use over and over in this class and in these moment of inertia calculations. That's the integral of dixy, centroidal moment of inertia, but plus integral of d dA, the little elemental strip, vertical uh, strip, which is dA, times x squared, the square of the distances there. Okay, remember that uh, d, the integral of this little vertical strip about its centroidal y-axis goes to zero because the width dx goes to zero. So that term completely eliminates and we have the integral of dA, which is y dx, times x squared. Rearranging that and substituting in this formula for y, we get integral of 3x to the 5 thirds, that's y, times x squared dx. Combining the x terms, we get 3x to the 11 thirds power dx. Evaluating that, we get 3 over 14 thirds, x to the 14 thirds power. From zero, evaluate from 0 to 1. Of course, it's 0, x, x equals 0, it's 0. So at x equals to 1, it's just this part right out here, 9 fourteenths, 0.643 inches to the fourth. Third part was in a, give me the uh, product of inertia by integration. And that's the product of inertia about the x and y axes. Okay, we're going to once again use the parallel axis theorem. The integral of i x prime y prime, the product of inertia about the little centroid of this vertical strip, is zero because uh, the y prime axis is a, uh, an axis of symmetry, so it goes to zero. So we're left with the DAXY uh, term. This is DA at Y DX. 
X is just X for each strip and the centroid to the axis to the x-axis is y over 2 so I get combine my terms I get 1 half y squared x dx and that evaluates I just plug in this value for y 3x to the 5 thirds square it multiply by the x combine all the x terms I get to bring the one half outside the integral sign, integral of 9x to the 10 thirds, which is squaring that, times x. Then I combine that x term with that x to the 10 thirds, I get 9 halves the integral of 13 thirds, x to the 13 thirds power. Do all the math, it's easy. It's equal, simplifies out to 4.5 over 16 thirds x to the 16 third power, evaluate that from 0 to 1, you break it down to this, and that's 0.844 inches to the fourth. Now, fourth part was the polar moment of inertia, J-O, it's just equal to the sum of I-X and I-Y, and let's just add these two numbers together, 1.5.643, and I get 2.14 inches to the fourth. Now I want my centroidal moment of inertia, Ix prime. Taking the parallel axis theorem, rearranging it, it becomes Ix, which I know from up here, minus a dy squared term. I gave you a, and we gave you the distance y from the uh, x bar. I'm sorry, uh, it's y bar from the x axis to the centroid. So that's just uh, it's 0.923 squared times the area 1.125, subtract that from 1.50, and I get 0.542 inches to the fourth. You follow me there? We're taking that distance from the centroid of the overall shape to the uh, x-axis that we've already calculated Ix about. Finally, uh, number six was the radius of gyration with respect to the x-axis, and that's called kx, and it's just the square root of ix over a, moment of inertia divided by the area, 1.5 was the moment of inertia about the x-axis, divided by 1.125 is the area, square root 1.15 inches.